Hi, I'm Rose Thomas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you some stretches for your chest. Um, the things that you um, may need to do these stretches, will need to do these stretches, are um, something for under your head, a little towel, either a pair of setter or a foam roller. Any density of foam roller is fine here. And then either a rolled up thin yoga mat, Pilates mat, or a rolled up towel. And later on in the, um, in the video, we'll use either hand weights or a TheraBand. So you go ahead and gather those things and um, meet you back here in a second. All right. The first stretch I want to show you probably is um, something you didn't expect. It's going to be a stretch for the wrists. So a lot of times what comes along with um, chest wall that is short and collapsed and a back that is maybe a little hunched is the result of sitting over a terminal or holding a device for too long. And so the wrists get really tight and the hands uh, kind of get tight and start to curl. So what we want to do is not only release here, but along the front line of the body from the palm all the way up the arm and across to the other side and down to the other palm. So let's start with the wrists and palms by putting the hands together. Like in a, a prayer position, the fingers spread and the roots of the fingers pressing against one another as you float the elbows up just a little bit, pressing the heels of the hands together and dropping the heels of the hands down. And you try to breathe through this. The fingers might curl at first if your body is tight there, but do the best you can to push the roots of the fingers toward each other. And take one more breath here. And release the fingers. Another way to do that is to kneel on a mat or go up against the wall. And you put your hands on the floor, come into all fours, spread the fingers and palms again, and put weight over the wrists. If you need to minimize or mitigate the weight and, and strain in the wrists, just reach the hips back until you feel a little less strain. But do the best you can to hinge forward now, reaching the shoulders in front of the hands, holding for as long as you'd like. And then bringing the pelvis back again if you feel like the wrists need a little bit of release or relief. And we'll pulse there a couple more times, moving forward. And as the shoulders go forward, bring the heels of the hands or reach them toward the mat. Coming back with the hips, take the pressure off the hands. And one more time, pressing down through the index fingers right at the roots of the fingers, lean forward, keep spreading the thumbs and reaching them toward each other, and then bringing the pelvis back. Just give yourself a little bit of a release of the wrist now, counterbending it, or shaking it out, or circling. All right. Next stretch is going to be for the chest wall directly and the arm. So you'll take your rolled up mat or your rolled up towel, either one is fine. Have something ready for behind your head, which could be as small as a, um, as a towel, but it could be a pillow or a bed pillow, something thicker. You're going to lie down on your back. This prop is across the body, or it's going to go across the body. You're going to put that roll somewhere near the middle of your back, just below the arms. So you want a space for the shoulders to fall down toward the mat, toward the floor of the carpet. And if your gaze is way far behind you and you notice your chin is really lifted, then put as many pillows or props or supports under your head to lift the head away from the floor and have your gaze going only slightly behind you. Bend your knees and put the feet on the mat and push the feet into the floor just a little bit so as to get the lower back to flatten and protect it. So the stretch is mostly centered in the mid to upper back. Now with the chest wall spreading as you inhale, this is a stretch that you can hold for a few breaths or you can hold for a few minutes. But anytime you start to feel strain or discomfort or a change of shape in the lower back, then I would double up 
Press the feet into the floor a little bit more harder. Send the breath across the chest. Feel the breath swirling in between each rib and under the collarbones, trying to reach out past the chest and into the fingers so that you're very wide right now. To get a little bit more arch in your back, in your upper back, you're going to lift your arms up to start and the palms face each other. Then as you breathe in, reach the arms back behind you. Try not to over arch your neck. Drop your chin a little. Push the feet into the floor a little. And the arms only go back so far as you have no pain in your shoulders. If this is not work in the shoulders, then rest the arms next to you or out to the side once again. And let's take two more deep breaths here wherever your arms are. And one more deep breath. Then you come out of the stretch. First place the hands behind the head and use your arms to help to lift the head and support it. Then just roll to the side and use an arm to push up. And then move to the next stretch. So the next stretch you're going to do either up against the wall in a door frame, or I, as I'm going to do against a bookcase. Anything vertical. Your arm that's near to the wall frame or bookcase is going to be bent with, at the elbow with the um, upper arm lifted away from the body. And then you place the forearm against the wall or inside of the door frame. Whichever foot is closer to the wall, bring that forward and lunge. Your palm can be turned any which way that you like it to be turned. You're going to take your rib cage and start to turn the rib cage away from the wall. And notice the feeling that you have in the very front of the shoulder. And if you have a point of pain in front of the shoulder, you want to back off the lunge. Don't go so deep. Or slightly change the angle of your arm in the door frame or against the wall. The shoulder itself is going to want to hitch up to the ear, but you're going to try to keep that shoulder down away from the ear. And at any time, you can change the position of that arm. It can be higher, reaching the fingers up the wall or frame, maybe getting into a stretch in your armpit, or you can slide that arm down a little bit. We'll take two more breaths here, still trying to turn your ribs away from the wall. Lunge. One more breath and then come out of this stretch. We'll do the other arm against the wall so you can see that. The arm is bent at the elbow and lifted, the upper arm is lifted away from the body. Put that arm against the wall. Turn the palm any which way you'd like. And the leg that's closer to the wall is gonna lunge forward. And you breathe. So again, with each inhale, you're feeling breath press in between each rib and hover and swirl and reach underneath the collarbone. If you feel a sharp point of pain in front of the shoulder that you're stretching, then you want to back off the lunge a little bit or change the angle of your arm. Maybe your arm needs to be a little more forward. Maybe you lift it or lower it or change it in some way so that you don't feel direct pain. You feel distributed stretch across the chest. Turn the ribs away from the wall to increase the stretch. We'll take two more breaths here. And one more breath. And then come out of the lunge and bring the arm off the wall. All right, for the next stretch, you're going to need your TheraBand. You can stand. You can stand, sit, or kneel for this one. I'm going to have you hold your TheraBand um, in front of you. And for now, keep your wrists straight. Lift the arms and widen the hands as much as they need to widen to bring the arms behind you. Sweep the arms all the way down to the hips and then up and over. And for these next few, let's try to keep the wrists straight and just move the arms up and back. If this is hurting your shoulders in any way or you're feeling strain in your neck, or your head is just reaching forward to try to get away, this is not a good um, stretch for you, so I would um, avoid it. 
Now let's keep the arms behind. Obscure the TheraBand. And now instead of straight wrists, you're gonna to start to reach your fingertips toward each other behind you and allow the tension in the TheraBand to pull your arms ever closer to one another. Breathe across the chest. Stop if you feel any direct or sharp pain in front of the shoulder and just keep thinking about widening and spaciousness and collarbones lifting. Hold this for one more breath and then sweep the arms up and in front of you. And you can do this stretch as many times as you like or hold for as many breaths um, as feels productive. The last stretch we're going to do today is going to be either over your foam roller or your uh, parasitter. You're going to be lying lengthwise on your prop. So put that lengthwise on the mat. And have something nearby for behind the head just in case you need it. I'm going to have you sit on the end of the prop, roll down, and rest your head on the other end. Make sure both your pelvis and your head are resting on the prop, not one on the floor and one off. If you notice that your gaze is behind you and your chin is lifted, then that's when you grab your, um, your head support and you put that um, under your head if you need it. Otherwise, you can let your head rest right on the prop. To protect the lower back, why not, and, and stretch it, why not pull the glutes away from each other and allow the knees to fall in and rest upon one, one another? Just let that lower body rest. And now stretch your arms out to the side. Straighten your elbows. Spread your fingers and your palms like you're trying to turn your palms inside out. And be wide and think that every breath not only goes through the chest, but it goes out to each fingertip. So this is a good place to stay if you'd like, or if you prefer, you can have your elbows soften and bend and rest on the floor anywhere that's comfortable. Just like lying across uh, your mat, uh, crosswise is a, a release that you can stay in for a while, so is this one. You can stay in this um, opener, or this stretch, for 20 or 30 minutes if you want. But even a few breaths here can be helpful. So as you lie here on your parasitic or your foam roller, draw your shoulder blades in and squeeze the prop. Squeeze the foam. Feel how that increases the stretch across the chest even more. And let's take two more breaths here. Arms can either reach out or be resting on the floor somewhere next to your roller or paracenter. And one more breath. And then just relax the shoulder blades. Carefully slide off the side of your prop and come flat on your mat. Give yourself a few breaths here to let your body adjust. Give yourself a few breaths to feel the body pool onto the mat. And feel how much flatter I hope that your upper back is and how much broader your chest is and maybe how much easier the breath flows into the upper lungs. If your chin is lifted and your gaze is behind you, drop the chin or if that's not enough, put your prop underneath your head, your towel or your pillow and hold this for one more breath. Then pull the knees into the chest, roll to the side, and we'll end with a little strengthener. Because you just did all of this work to open up the chest. We need to do something so that the upper back remembers that it doesn't want to be, it shouldn't be in this shape, but it should be um, tight and toned and strong. So when we start to hunch, the upper back and middle back start to get overstretched and weak. And so we need to strengthen that. We're going to try that with either a TheraBand, I'll show you both ways, or the hand weights. So grab those. If you have a TheraBand, you're going, to, uh, you're going to sit with your TheraBand wrapped around your feet. You're going to hold the opposite end of the band in each hand. And you're going to sit up nice and tall. Start to pull the shoulder blades in toward each other. Reach up through the crown of the head. And then bend the elbows and pull the elbows up and back. And then release. 
Inhale as you bend the elbows and spread the chest. Exhale as you reach forward. Four more. Breathe in wide and get the chest to lift and forward with the arms. Three more. Exhale forward and last two. And one more. And you can do um, a set of um, up to 10 or 15 of those with the band or grab your hand weights. You can sit any way you'd like. You can even be sitting on your couch or your bed and you reach your arms forward. These are two pounders, um, but you can use any weight that you can support without pain, hitching of the shoulders or pain or stiffness in the neck. The palms face down and you bend the elbows and reach them back. Pull the shoulder blades together, reach forward. Inhale, elbows bend and pull, exhale forward. Four more, and three, last two. Breathe in deep across the chest and under the collarbones as you bend your elbows back, and then bring the arms forward and bring your weights down. All right, that's all I have for you for this video. I hope some of the stretches helped and uh, that you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.